how to create a blog in your own custom domain for free of cost using systemy.io. Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial and I'm Shine here and today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step procedure in which you can create your blog for absolutely free of cost on any custom domain that you wish to. You can even do it on a free subdomain as well. And the best part, it's going to be there lifelong. Also, it doesn't involve any technical details because it's not based on WordPress. It will be using a drag and drop tool called systemy.io, which is an all-in-one builder tool because it can create sales funnels for you. It can create landing pages for you. It can create affiliate funnels for you. It can create email automations for you as well. It can create membership sites for you and it has immense power as well. I'll let you know everything about it, so don't worry about that. The only thing that I want to show you in this tutorial today is how you can create your first blog within a few minutes using a free tool called systemy.io. So let's jump inside of the tutorial and let me show you how easy it is to create your first blog. So as you can see here, I am within one of the blogs that I've created for tutorial purpose. And you can see it has a nice little look and feel over here, right? It has been categorized. It has pictures. It has got footer. It has got a newsletter so that if anybody subscribes, I can get his or her details as well. Now, it has been built using systemy.io. So if you wish to create one, let's dive in step by step for a systemy.io blog creation. Now, the first step in creating a systemy.io blog is to getting started with systemy.io. Now, it's absolutely free to register, no cards required whatsoever, and it will be free forever. It's not a free trial. So you have to differentiate the plans, right? There is no trial. It's a lifelong plan and that also for free. Now to start off, what you can do is that you can go down on the description of this video and click the link to the official site of systemy.io. And from there, you can get a chance to register for free of cost without providing any card detail. So just follow me, go down, click on the link and just uh, register with your email ID, just as I'm doing right now. Now, if you are not aware of this, this is an brilliant all-in-one marketing solution because it has got funnel builders. You can create your sales funnel, opt-in funnels, custom funnels. You can create webinars using this. You can create your courses, membership sites. You can sell physical products as well. You can create emails. You can create email automation. You can create workflows, anything and everything that you need as an internet marketer. So this is the all-in-one tool that you are going to require ever for your business. With that being said, it also has a free plan. Now you can just go down on the description link of this video and click the link that will take you to this page. And in here, you can either click get my free account or you can just apply your email ID over here and click on get my free account. So let us do that first. So as you can see, it is no credit card required for and free forever. So that's a great, great thing to have. Now click on get my free account and it will actually send you an email on your registered email ID. So let's check out for the mail. And as you can see, I have got an email from systemy.io called confirm your registration. So let's click on there. And here you are, you can get access by clicking this link. So let's click on there. And now it's asking for a password. So let me quickly type in a password. Now once done, just click on save and that will save your password and it will redirect you to the dashboard. Now here you are. So that is the neat and clean dashboard that you are going to be presented with and it's going to be blank like uh, mine one right here. So let's create along with you. One thing you can do is that you can go down, you can register, pause this video, go down, register yourself, and then join me over here. That will be a great thing. You can do along with me as well. So it will be that step by step, right? So let's do that. So now that we have created a systemy.io free account, it's time for us to dive inside of step two, which is actually writing content for your blogs. Now. For that, what you need to do, you need to add different things like text, images, videos, right? So for that, all that we need to do is dive inside of systemy.io. So let's dive in. So here we are within the systemy.io dashboard. In here, we need to go over to this menu. And in here, we need to go over to blog. So just click on that. And as you can see, we are going to create it from the scratch. So just click on create a blog. Give it a name. I'm giving it demo because I just want to show you how it's done. Then you can decide the blog domain. By default, it will be a subdomain in systemy.io. If you wish to add your custom domain, you can do that. I'll show you, don't worry. Then you can also have your URL path over here. And then you can go ahead and have a preview of the different templates that it has. You can see here one, two, three, four. And if we scroll down, there are plenty of templates. So 
please feel free to choose any template. Now this one looks quite good. So let's preview this template. And as you can see, it's more or less related to something online. So let us choose this. Let's go back and click on select template and then click on create. So we are done. The blog has been created. Now it's time for us to add contents to the blog. So for that, we just need to click on the blog name and in here you can find there are some pages that are already done for you. So you, what you can do is you can edit these pages or you can add new pages of your own, whatever you wish to. You can also go ahead and have in categories. Now there are category one, two, three. Now you can define it according to yourself. Say it can be weight loss. It can be healthy foods. It can be anything that you wish to right? So you just need to name these categories as per your likings, right? So uh, for me, let me say I'm doing a affiliate review blog. So for me, the categories could be like, let me click on create and let me give it a name like video marketing, right? Then I can also give a description. So I'll just leave it like this. And in here, you need to give the SEO title and SEO description. Now, this is going to be important to make your blog rank, right? So uh, I'm not going to give it right now because this is a demo blog, but uh, however, for your purpose, you should do this, right? Then just click on create. And you can see that the category has been created. In the similar way, you can go ahead and add as many categories as you wish. Now, once your category is created, it's now time for creation of posts. So for that, go over to post. And as you can see, there are some demo posts already in here. So before going into the post, we actually would like to set up the post layout. That is how exactly the post should look like. So for that, let's click on post layout. And in here, you can see how the post exactly looks like, right? So in here, you can see it would have a featured image over here, and then it would have the title over here. Then it would have the body over here and everything would follow like this. It would have the category over here. So this is the general structure of your blog post whenever you post something it will be of the similar structure now if you wish to edit this right here you can see all these blocks available on the left hand side now you can drag any of them say for example you wish a video should be added to all of your posts so what you can do is that you can just drag a video from here and add it within your blog contents just like this right so you can see now it contains a video as well now, in the same way, you can add carousels, you can add buttons, you can add checkbox, you can add anything and everything that you wish to, right? You are not really limited. So once done, make sure that you click save changes and then you need to exit. So now that we have laid out what exactly the post should look like, it's time for us to create a post. So just click on create a blog post, say spinzine review. Give it a description, whatever you wish to, like what Spinzine is about and what your review is about and all of that. Then you can also have a custom URL path as well. Now, this is by default, but it will show. If you wish to edit this, you are free to do that. Then in here, you should choose the featured image. So let's click on that. And in here, we have uploaded a featured image. So we can prop it accordingly so that it looks good, right? So we just need to readjust and keep it like this. So that looks good. And once done, we can also select which category this post would belong to. So let it be video marketing and just click on create. So you can see that the post has been created. Now remember, we can edit this post anytime and every time that we wish to. But before that, I want to show you how exactly this post would look like. So let us click view. And in here, you can see the category is coming in, then the headline. And then as we had laid out, there is a video. And then there is this image as well. So that's exactly how our blog layout was. So it's working. So let's go back. And in here now we need to edit this blog. So just go over to edit and click on that. So now as you can see, it is the layout. So we can't change it. If we want to change this particular layout, we have to do it on the blog layout that I've shown you, right? So whatever we can add now, we can add just under this, right? Now we would add our first element. So let our first element be a content box. So let's drag it in here. Now we can go over to the settings of the content box. And in here, we can write whatever we wish to say, for example, Spinzine review, right? And then within this content box, there is a row in where we can add anything that we wish to say, for example, I want to add a headline. Now, see the headline, actually, there is something written over here, but since uh, the color is transparent, that's why it's coming as transparent. So if we make that color change, you can see the headline has come over here. So all that we need to do is like this, 
Say, for example, I want to make it spin line is an amazing graphics design tool. And then we can do is that we can just select all of this and convert it to H2. Now, this is going to be very beneficial in terms of ranking because H2s are given priority. So try to include keywords within your H2s, right? And then once this is done, we can add different things like we can have bullet lists. So in here, we can give bullet points like whatever we want to make a statement on, right? Then we can go ahead and add different images maybe. So we can just bring on an image over here. You can see it has come over here. Then maybe we want to add a few lines of text again. So just go over to text and add it over here. So it, it occurs just like that. It's so simple to do, right? Anybody can do it. Now, there can be some specific things like maybe you wish to have a kind of pros and cons, right? So there will be two columns within one row. So for that, you need to just drag this element over here. And this will actually allow you to do this tabular structure. Or maybe you want to divide this uh, page into equal blocks and do something over there. So that's the design element. You can just think of the situation and you can use these designer blocks to create those things, right? Then you can also go ahead and add your buttons at the end of it, say for call to action. And on the buttons, you can give different actions like the button could actually show a pop up as well. The button could redirect to a URL. The button could have a blog link that is internally linked and the button could even download a file as well. So you can do all of that within your buttons, right? And uh, another nice thing that I want to show you is the table of content. Now, if you are not using any proper blogging tool, this is something that is going to be a little difficult to achieve. So in here, what you can do is maybe here, I want to drop the table of content. So you can see the table of content is fetching one of the things. That is because if we go over to settings, you can see that we are only thinking the contents as H2. So whatever would be written on the H2 headline tag, that would be referred to as a starting of a content, right? So uh, that would be indexed. So for example, if we want to add another thing, say, let's add another headline and let us name it as features of spin line. So now that it has been done, let us select the whole thing and convert it into an H2 and as soon as we do that and we click something somewhat outside, you can see it has been added to the table of contents. So whenever you would be adding a H2 tag, it would be automatically added on the table of contents. And that's how the table of contents grows on autopilot, right? So that's how amazing this thing is. And that's how you can do your blogs as well. So that's a great thing to have. Now, once your blog is ready, you can just click on save changes. Now, once your blog is ready, you can just click on save changes. And then you can exit your blog. So that's how easy it is to create your blog. And once it is done, just make sure that you do hit this publish button. This will actually publish your blog on the internet. So that's it. That's done. That's how easy it is. So now that you have created the post, you have created the post layout. Now it's time for us to actually look around into the next step. Now this brings us to step three, which is how to configure the sidebar of your systemy.io blog. Now in here, if we wish to add newsletters or something like that, what we can do is that we can go over to the blog layout and in here we can do different things like we can change the logo over here we can change the page links over here we can change where our blog contents do appear and we can even bring in different blocks like we can bring in a newsletter sign up maybe so if we wish to we can just bring our form input over here and as you can see the form input has been inserted so now all that we need to do is go over to settings and in here on the input type we can select what we want to take as an input. So we want the email and then we can also go ahead and add a headline to it. Like, like subscribe to our newsletter, right? Now, if we wish that we have it in a sidebar, like we have author bio and all other things, all that we need to do is we need to go back and in here, we need to add two columns just like this. And on one of the columns, what we need to do is drag the blog contents. And on the right hand side, we can just uh, take all of these like subscribe to our newsletter. And then we can take this email input, right? So now as you can see, the blog content would be on the left hand side and the subscribe to our newsletter and the email ID would be on the right hand side. We can go ahead and add other different things like author bio and all the stuff that's up to you. So in whatever way you want to format your blogs, you can do that. So just feel free to work with it, right? 
So I'm going to uh, just exit this right now. So with that being done, it brings us to the next step, which is configuring your blog header, your logos and your pages, right? So again, we need to go back and again, we need to go to blog layout. And as I've shown you during the previous one itself that in here, you can change the logos in here. You can change the links, right? To which pages it will link to the menu, everything you can change over here. So all of this can be done under the blog layout right you can even go ahead and change the footers as well like what would be shown on the footer the logos here the social media connection anything and everything so that's how powerful these things are with that being said let me go over to the next step that we have and this is how to configure the footer of your systemy.io blog again just as i showed you right now this is very simple you can just go over here you can just click on this blog go over to the logo and in here, you can just bring your own logo image. You can, you can just click on the settings over here. And in here, you can see it already has an image. So if you wish to bring your image, you can just go over here and say, for example, I want to bring in this image, although this is not my logo, but I just wanted to show you how this works. So you can see it has been changed, right? So in the similar way, you can just go ahead and change anything and everything. Now this is the menu. So this will be changed whenever you do some changes in the blog pages. Remember I showed you right in the start, there are blog pages that you can rename or you can edit or you can add even, right? So that's from where this comes for. So if you wish to change the settings of this, you can just go over here and in here you can have your home page as any link. There is a blog link, but you can also redirect it to some custom link as well. So that's up to you. Then there is some social media connection. As you can see, again, you just need to go over to the settings and in here you can add your own Twitter homepage URL. So that will be kind of connected and that's how it works. So that's pretty simple. Now, once done, you can again exit. So that brings us to the last step in where I'll show you how you can add your custom domain. So for that, we just need to go over to this. That is your profile and go over to settings. And in here, if you wish to, you can just go over to custom domain and in here you can add a domain as well. So that's up to you. If you wish to add your custom domain, you can do that as well. Now, remember, if we go over to my plan, you can see it's a free plan because I have signed up right in front of your eyes and you can see it's a free plan. So um, there is no kind of limitations in terms of functionality. Just the limitation is that I can create only one blog. Now, if you have more than one blogs, what I suggest is that you can start up with a paid plan. Now, remember, this is not a blogging tool. This is a all in one business builder tool because you can create sales funnels. As you can see over here, you can create blogs, you can create membership sites, you can create automation rule, workflows, email campaigns, upsells, downsells, coupon codes. You can create webinars everything you can do with this simple tool so that's why i love this tool there is not learning of too many tools and then going to integrate them too much of technical stuff right so if you are starting out and if you're looking for some funnel it's a great to start off because you can start off free and then once you like what you are using then you can upgrade with any plan or if you are good to go with any paid plan right away you can do that as well but here i like to share it pro tip with you like if you are going for any plan which is a paid plan then if possible go for an annual plan because if you see if you go for a monthly plan the startup plan comes at 27 dollars per month and what i recommend you get into is 47 dollars per month because this includes webinar as well and this kind of has more kind of funnels that you can do and if you are into an online business already and if you have a number of funnels going on then you could go ahead with the unlimited plan which is only 97 dollars per month with that you get unlimited automation unlimited webinar unlimited of everything so that's a great thing to have and you can have additional discount if you just go over to the annual plan you can see every plan becomes discounted so again the choice is yours. You can start off for free as well just by going down on the description of this video and signing up for free. With that being said, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial on how you can create your first blog using systemy.io for free of cost on your custom domain. If you have, then please help me with a like and let me know in the comment section if you have got any questions regarding any part of this tutorial. Also, if this is the first time that you are into this channel, then consider subscribing to this channel and hitting on the bell notification icon because in this channel, I do regularly come up with some tools and tricks and tips that can be useful in your making money online journey. 
with that being said we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet until then please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep learning and keep rocking the internet it's a good friend shine bidding goodbye we'll meet again pretty soon bye bye